Well, Nathan, a crazy afternoon. Yeovil Town winning 4-3 and only your second ever goal for the club in more than 200 games today. Woo! <laughs> Nathan Smith, my darling. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm happy, you know, mainly when um, we got the win, that was the main thing. Didn't really get a chance to fully enjoy it because we wanted to win the game, so, yeah. Did you sense that second Yeovil goal has, has been coming? Because you've started to be sent up, set up, sent up for corners, you've you've hit the post this season, it's becoming closer, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I've been doing a lot of work with um, Terry Skiverton after training and stuff like that, so I did believe that it was, was going to come. And I'm sure you're pleased that it's such a memorable game that it's coming, this 4-3 win today. Yeah, it's, it's a great, you know what I mean, the fans was brilliant. Yeah. I didn't even know they were that much fans until we scored that winning goal as well. It was brilliant, brilliant. And for a team that don't score many goals, well, when you went 3-1 down, how did you stay positive? How did you keep positive that you could come back today? We just kept believing, you know what I mean? Even at half-time, the gaffer said to us, you know, like, all the possession that we've had, we need to do something with it. So he gave us a little inspiration of talk and we took it forward again. And just talk us through those final seconds when Harry Cornick scored the winner. What was it like? What were the celebrations like afterwards? It was brilliant because I just see um, Walshy running with the ball and I'm thinking, go on Walshy, don't stop. And I didn't see Harry and he just obviously cut it across and Harry's kind of dinked it over and I just thought, flipping heck, <laughs> for real, what a day. What were the celebrations like? Because you seem to be engulfed by fans over that far side. To be fair, I didn't even get into the midst of it at first. I started running around myself and then I ran over there. But like I said, if, it was, if you see it on the video, the fans were brilliant. Like, it was brilliant. Of fans that was over there celebrating. It's obviously the final away trip of the season. You've had such a fantastic second half of the season. Is this a nice way to, to cap it off today? Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, like, we deserve it and I think the fans deserve it as well. You know, we weren't good enough at the start of the season and it's something, you know, I mean, we had to repay them as well and ourselves. And this is this perhaps proving some of the critics wrong because you've, you've ground out these results, you haven't been scoring many goals and you've gone and won 4 3 today? Yeah, like I said, since the gaff has taken over, it instilled a, a strong belief and a strong team spirit amongst the boys. So even if we concede a goal, like, I still believe we can go on and win a game. Seven and a half years between goals for you. Are we going to have to wait another seven and a half years or have you got another one uh, coming pretty soon? Got another one planned, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>